Meanwhile, a lot has been said about China's debt diplomacy. Today, we have an example for you. China is blackmailing a friend of India, the Maldives. The country owes anything between $1.3 billion to $3.2 billion to the Chinese regime. And Beijing is now demanding that Mali cuff up the money in the middle of this Wuhan virus pandemic. Why now? Our next report has the answer. China's Exim Bank has asked the Maldives to repay a $10 million loan. It is part of the loan given to former President Yamin's ally, Sun Ahmad Shyam. The $127 million loan was given in sovereign guarantee. And now China is asking the Maldives to cough up an unpaid installment. The timing couldn't be worse. The Wuhan virus has hit the economy. The tourism sector has come to a standstill. So why is China asking for the money now? It is called blackmail. China is punishing the Maldives for its proximity to India. The former president of this island country, Abdullah Yamin, was China's puppet. He ramped up infrastructure projects with Chinese funds. And in the process, Yamin had cast aside democracy and the rule of law. Take a look at the inflow of money. China invested $830 million into the island country's airport. China built a two-kilometer bridge to link the airport island to Mali. It also built a 25-storey apartment complex and hospital in the Maldives. Beijing sent 306,000 tourists to the Maldives in the year 2018. Talk about China's debt trap diplomacy. Here's a question. Why the Maldives? Because it holds strategic importance for Beijing. The Maldives has key shipping lanes. It is located along China's shipping route to the Middle East. During a visit to the Maldives in 2014, Chinese President Xi Jinping had announced that the Maldives could become a part of the Maritime Silk Road. In other words, the Belt and Road Initiative. In August 2018, three Chinese naval ships docked in Mali. Maldives racked up an estimated $1.3 billion of debt to China. This is more than a quarter of the GDP of the Maldives. The estimates though are conflicting. In 2018, former President Mohammad Nasheed said that China had handed over an invoice of $3.2 billion. In short, China's plan was on track till the Soli government took over in September 2018. Currently, the Maldives owes billions of dollars to China. What happens if it does not repay $10 million to China's Exim Bank? It could impact the credibility of the Maldives. What happens if Mali pays? It could impact its foreign trade and forex reserves. This is a catch-22 situation, one that India is trying to help the Maldives out of. India has handed over a cheque of $5.6 million. This is for the implementation of the High Impact Grant Project. In July, the State Bank of India announced liquidity support of $16.20 million for businesses and deferred loan repayments. But India may not be able to extend this support to all countries being crushed under Chinese debts. They can either learn from the Maldives or brace for disaster. Bureau report, Vion, World is One.